Here we have a video power Balin hub. It's meant to transmit video and power over the RJ45 connections. This one has 16, and for each of them, it outputs one BNC. So traditionally, it's used with a video power Balin like this that has a video here, BNC, and a power. This is a analog uh, camera video power hub, so it's meant to, use, to be used with analog resolution cameras. What you do is you take your network cable and you plug it in to one of the ports. In this case, I just chose five. And you connect the BNC going back to your DVR. So what this does is it allows you to use multiples of these going all over the building. Uh, these to be used on the camera end and then a simple Cat5 connection into the um, power hub itself. This is a passive balin, so it will, only, it will not inject um, power to make the distance much longer than a thousand feet but it does inject power to power the camera so here I see a green light on my video power balin so it's getting power and if I plug in my camera into the video power balin I will then get video coming through this connection and here displaying on my DVR so now I'm going to show you another way to do this. Sometimes we find integrators not wanting to use the video power bailing hub, but instead just using a regular video bailing and a power connector. So if you're trying to save cost, what you can do is, of course, run your one end that has the Cat5 connector, the RJ45 connector, plug it in here. And on the other end, split the cable and wire it this way, one into a video balin, just a passive video balin. So I guess these only two wires to transmit a video signal up to a thousand feet. And here you have a clear shot. So you've got only two wires here for video. And then the remaining six wires we've split into halves to transmit power. There's a certain schematics uh, that's included here in the video of how you should uh, split the cable. Granted, the cable is wired using the um, uh, configuration shown on the video right now on your screen. So here I've got on the plus over here on the top, negative on the bottom, and I've got my cables going in. So what I'm going to do is just connect my cable into the video power bailing hub and uh, power my camera and then I'm gonna connect my BNC. And here we go, I've got video now. It's really simple enough to do.